everybody, this is not a spring chicken. If you're seeing this, wait, are you really seeing this? Well, we're not here. We're at Camp Snoopy celebrating 30 years at Knott's Berry Farm. Meanwhile, here's Old Cam with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, I love this headline today. Republicans are now not going to get the votes they never were going to get in the first place. <laughs> that really says it all about everything, didn't it? They're basically doing all of these things to get votes that they never had a chance to get because they're not going to vote for it. And Priceline um, makes the buy for reservation service becoming the Amazon of travel. Well, they said that it's, a, it's a, under the reign of Bill Shatner, it's becoming a one place where you get anything you want in the travel industry, you now can pick up on Priceline. Mm -hmm. And they're going to continue. They paid. $2.9 billion in cash today. That's how much money they're rolling in. Wow. Chatner's a very rich man. And the president using gun violence to shift a new scandal away from older ones. Oh, yeah. He's now got six of them going, oh, the latest one this morning. White House sends a letter to Congress to notify them that over a month ago they released other prisoners. Mm -hmm. That's because the other day Chuck Hagel went asked, well, not that I've had any. He said, has there been other prisoners released that Congress doesn't know about? And he said, well, not that I've been involved with, which is saying, yes, they did. And today the president sent the official letter notifying them a month late that they were supposed to be included in the loop and discuss what it was to be done. He just, he said, um, another one, Jonathan Turley said, this man has to be indicted for his crimes because if they don't stop him, it's going to get worse. And the president using gun violence to shift to a new scandal away from older ones. You know, she likes that when she might have twice. Okay. Militants attack Pakistani army, killing six soldiers and setting back peace talks. Yeah, the, because they're going uh, all over the Middle East. Obama is basically, uh, everywhere that he's pulling out of, the Muslim terrorists are moving to fill the vacuum. And I love this, that we may have to depend upon the support of Iran and, and, uh, and Iraq to salvage one-third of the country. Iraq is supplying all the money and equipment to the people that are the insurgents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Bergdahl, comrades, he is not a hero. Well, yeah, he's basically... Uh, here's the question from the mailbag today I got from the, one of the news organizations. Which of these medals is the President of the United States going to give Bird Dog, who, Sergeant Bird Dog, who, Private Bird Dog, who is being promoted to Second Lieutenant by act of the President? Will he get the Congressional Medal of Honor or the Presidential Medal of Freedom? The odds are, they say, that he'll get the Medal of Honor because the President of the United States really hates the military and wants to stick it to them and everybody on the right. Mm. And Eric Cantor loss is an earthquake. Well, yeah, because it was an earthquake so much today, the Republicans voted to give the president a billion dollars more than he requested so that they could help reunite uh, parents with their children who are illegally here. Um, yeah, that they brought over to... Oh, wait a minute. Does this have anything to do with an election? Yeah, it had, okay, here's the way it works is you could, the kids could not have came 1,800 miles from Central America through Mexico without having a lot of assistance and assistance from the military of many countries. Oh, and then let's bring their families over too. Because we have, well, we can't send them back. And I heard a person, one of the, one of the border patrolmen said, he said, I can send them back. I could put them on the boats and send them right back to Mexico send and them, they become their problem. Send them back the way they came. Yeah, they become Mexico's problem. They're, they're okay, if, okay, we can't get Americans back that wander into Mexico. That's the that's how serious their laws are taken. Yet the people that Mexico is sending over to us, we just have to make homes for them. Yeah, where does that come from? What about all the Americans that don't have homes? That they don't care. Mm -hmm. Especially the military ones that don't have homes. Yeah, and Republicans to target Van Holen and FEC complaint. Yeah, basically he, he a guy. Uh, here's it is: if a Republican misfiles. It's a crime. If a Democrat deliberately misfiles, it's no big deal. Um, and 62% of Americans back letting illegal immigrants become citizens? Uh, Where? But no, there's a problem with that. They, they want them put at the back of the line and have to be and have to have that they are criminals on their records. Mm -hmm. And the Democrats don't want that. Well, the Republicans today said no. Aren't they, they agreed to 
you know, to the, remember the Senate Republicans approved the thing that said our border was secure and that the, the and that it will be kept secure. Well, and then what happens is they got 15,000 kids as young as two years old now sitting in the country because they're coming. The the the, uh, what the, the guy that's the head of the union said we've been ordered to escort them into our country now because they're children. So uh, mm -hmm. and they said, uh, uh, I, I got, oh, you can't see. I'm bullet holes from here all the way up to here from a little kid that mm -hmm. I didn't think would shoot me. So when you're sending little kids over, that doesn't mean that they're nice little kids. It just means that they're little kids. And you don't know whose parents they have. They could be, okay, their parents could be terrorists. Yep. They could be uh, They could be Muslim terrorists. There's no way of telling because they're not speaking to the border. All they're doing is giving their name and their refugees. That's all that's being given to the INS people. Wow, what, what a way to come into the U.S. Yeah, they can bring in every terrorist little kid. They also, they're, uh, they're mixing everybody together, which they, they, none of these kids have vaccinations. They're not allowed to have vaccinations because their parents aren't here. And they're going to put them into the school system. What? In, in, they said in 60 days they're going to be entered into our school system, and it's illegal to give them uh, medical vaccinations and anything without their parents' approval. And without uh, the courts have oh to Oh, my God. And it's not going to be done. So you, you destroy our health system you because of our president. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And McLaren to launch a new entry-level sports car in 2015. Well, yeah, it's everybody, I mean, we saw the entry-level Maserati, and it really is a pile of crap, so. <laughs> That's what they're doing. They're trying to make money, so they're making cheap-ass cars now. And Hillary says she won't turn over Benghazi notes. Yeah, she also, uh, she also said that these people, what, you know, here's what it is. You know, what does it matter now? These people, these five terrorists are only terrorists because George Bush rounded them up and said they were. Oh, gosh. And did you know what does it matter? It does have a hashtag that people keep using. Yeah, because that is the that is the theme of the Democratic election campaign is what does it matter? Because we, it, it's either us or the Republicans, and you know George Bush and the Republicans. George Bush is not president. Barack Obama is the one that's caused this mess. And AT and T says the new says the Direct TV merger will save money, but not for you. Oh yeah, they said that the, the the they think that the people that are cutting the cords, which they're saying are not doing, which we've talked to all of, we've been at all of these, uh, all of these panel discussions where people are cutting the cords. They said that it's going to lead to more cutting of the cords because the young people don't use cable to begin with except for sporting events, and that they watch on other people's screens. Well, and they cut the cords, they're like, we've never had cable. Oh, God. I mean, you you got to see what Time Warner is doing to us at the moment because they're being merged in with Comcast, which has a different system. I have no idea where my TV stations are going to be now. Mm -hmm. In California, teacher tenure ruling may fuel debate. Yeah, you know, the Democrats are demanding that it be overruled immediately. Well, no. If the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals said that it's not legal to give people, you know, for, a t they said tenure is not legal, period. Mm -hmm. So that's what, you know, that a tenured, a tenured teacher can never be filed versus They pay people to sit around doing nothing all over the United States. People that, uh, for, for instance, a teacher that is basically serving a jail sentence still can get all his money while he's serving a jail sentence under tenure laws. Mm. And Hamas demands new Palestinian government pay its workers. Isn't that amazing? They don't have any money, but it doesn't make any difference. Other than the fact that our president has given the terrorists one and a half billion dollars since he became president. <laughs> and guess who they're using? Uh -huh. Firing the missiles against them. And the Supreme Court won't stop same-sex marriages in Oregon. No. The a left, this, the Oregon is in the province of uh, one of the Obama judges. The trick is, here is the thing, the rule of unintended consequences. They now are ruling that there's nothing, they, can, they cannot stop a Muslim man for having uh, 100 wives if he wants them because of the, of the of, it's their religious right and because they no longer have rules on marriage. There's a reason why they only allow one man, one wife. You know, in our country, it used to be called bigamy. Now it's perfectly acceptable as of yesterday. What? Oh, yeah, you can have as many wives or husbands as you want now, and the courts will no longer stop it. 
Oh my gosh. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, from Mar this is a good one. That uh, if you're going to fight a war, win it, and then expect that you're going to be there forever after you've won it. 